Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Fix Guide. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through a full set of solutions to fix those frustrating high ping and packet loss issues in Valorant, especially ones that seem to pop up after a new update. So before we start changing any settings on your PC, let's cover three fundamental steps that solve the issue most of the time. And in order for this to work properly, don't skip any of them. So the first is to restart your router. Directly unplug it from the power source, then wait for 30 to 60 seconds, and then plug it back in. This simple power cycle can solve a lot of temporary network glitches. Second, switch to a wired connection. If there are many other devices on your Wi-Fi network, like phones, laptops, or any other devices, the speed and the bandwidth that your computer is getting while you're playing the game always decreases. So the best way to solve that issue is to directly plug your computer in with a LAN cable, and that way you will be getting a constant stream of internet. And finally, if there are a lot of devices connected to your Wi-Fi, try to reduce the number of them. What you can do is you can directly turn off the Wi-Fi of those devices or directly kick them off from your admin page on your browser. That way, you will get more Wi-Fi speed. Now, so if the basic changes that we just did did not solve the issue, our next step is to make a small but very important change in your PC's network adapter. So open your Windows search settings, search for Control Panel. Now, in Control Panel, simply look for Network and Internet. Click on that, then click on Network and Sharing Center. Now on the left-hand side panel, just click on Change Adapter Settings. Now you will see a list of your network connections. Now find the one you're currently using. It'll likely be called Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So once you find that, right-click on it, and then just select Properties. Now here, scroll down and click on Internet Protocol Version 4. Double click on it. Then in the DNS section, just simply check this box and enter a DNS. Now you can use this DNS that I'm currently using, or you can use the Google DNS as well, which is going to be 8.8.8.8, .8 and the bottom part will be 8.8.4.4, and then click on OK. Now. Once you've changed your DNS, let's make sure that your Windows firewall isn't accidentally interfering with Valorant's connection. Now go to your search menu. You just simply search for firewall, then open firewall and network protection. Now in firewall and network protection, choose allow an app through firewall. Now over here, just simply click on change settings and right over here, just simply search for Riot client and Valorant. So first just simply type R on your keyboard to find Riot Client. And if you are unable to find Riot Client, try searching for Valorant. So type V on your keyboard to search for Valorant. If both of them are not available, what you do is you have to choose Allow Another App right over here. Then click on Browse and add Valorant and Riot Client manually. So what you have to do is go to the file location of your installed game. And in order to find that, just search for Valorant on your start menu, then right click on it, then click on open file location. Then on the shortcut again, click on open file location. Now it should take you to the Riot Client folder over here. Copy the path at the top and paste it right over here then hit enter. Now add the Riot Client services. Click on open and do the same for Valorant as well. Just simply go back one folder, then go into Valorant, go to live, then choose valorant.exe, then click on open. So before adding a new one, you have to click add first and then add another one manually. Click on browse, Riot Client, then Riot Client services and click on open. Then click on add. And once both of them have been added, make sure to check both the private and public boxes for Riot Client and Valorant. So simply look for Valorant and just simply enable the private checkbox as well, over here. Then click on OK, and now just restart your computer. 
And lastly, if you have tried everything else and are still having major issues with your game, the last resort is to reset your computer's network settings to their factory defaults. Now a quick disclaimer, this will erase all your saved Wi-Fi passwords and other custom networks, so be prepared to set those up again. Now in order to do this, all you have to do is just simply open your Windows search bar and search for Network Reset. Then simply click to open it and then just simply choose Reset Now and then simply click on the Reset Now button and confirm your choice. And after that, your computer will restart and your network settings will be completely fresh. This can solve deep underlying issues as well. So that's it. You now have a complete checklist to troubleshoot and fix your high ping and packet loss issues in Valorant. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. So thank you for watching, and take care.